We start things off with the game of the weekend, no doubt about it. Olympic Club, an LA Athletic Club to San Ramon Valley High School. We go in Danville, California. Early on, Clayton Snyder opens the scoring for the LA Athletic Club. 1-0, they go in front. O Club comes back. Paul Reynolds tying the game here with this tally, 1-1. Sage Wright then takes the dish from Brian Alexander, buries it. Olympic Club in front, 2-1. Second quarter action now. More Oak Club. Brian Dudley will open the quarter with a couple of big fakes before sinking this shot. 3-1 Olympic Club. Here comes LA Athletic Club. 5.54 left in the first half. Clayton Snyder scores with a redirect from Ryder Roberts. It's a one-goal game. After a goal from Olympic Club's Patrick Fellner closes the second. Danny McClintock opens the third, scoring for LA to make it 4-3. Oak Club in front. More Fellner later in the third. Back-to-back -back tallies here. This is the second one from distance. 6-3 to three, Olympic Club seems to be pulling away. Down three, the LA Athletic Club goes on the comeback trail. A quick hand here from Nick Bell makes it 6-4 to four with 5.48 left in the game. Then LA Athletic Club turns to Ryder Roberts. Back-to-back -back goals. This one coming on a penalty shot with one second left. Last chance made by Lazar Andrich out of the goal. That's no good. Field blocked. We'll go to a shootout. What a rally by the LA Athletic Club. First up, Paul Reynolds will bury this one for Olympic Club. They're up 7-6. Roberts comes back for LA, making it 7-7. Peter Sefton responding, beating Garrett Danner. 8-7 Olympic Club. Back and forth we go. Sage Wright will score here. Beating Garrett Danner, making it 9 to 8 Olympic Club, but Mark Vonderweit, the former USC Trojan, will tie things again here. 9 9, beating Andrich. After Fellner scored to make it 10 9, last chance for LA. Nick Bell tries to sneak one in quick. Andrich, not having it, turns that one away, and the Olympic Club hangs on to win it 10 to 9 in a shootout. From there, we go Alumni versus USA Collegiate, another close game. Early on, Griffin Lerman opens the scoring for alumni, making it one to nothing. But then back-to-back -back goals from Chris Dilworth of the collegiate squad. Here's his second on the rebound, two to one. Lance Morrison buries this one for alumni, tying things 2-2. And after a 3-2 lead for alumni, Cameron Wright has the answer for collegiate, evening the score 3-3. Three -three. Later on, Andrew Rigo of alumni opens the second quarter with a five-meter penalty shot, and alumni has surged ahead 5-3. to three. Rigo back at it two minutes later, making the score 6-3 to three alumni. Jake Young piling on now for alumni. He'll keep the scoring going. This shot is all money. 7-3 to three alumni in front. But Collegiate then turns to Dilworth, at it again on the dish from right, making it 7-4. to four. And then Matt Casora of the Collegiate squad cuts that deficit a little bit further, 8-5. to five. Tamir Avital of Collegiate able to beat the keeper here to open the third, 8-6, and the college crew drawing closer. Cameron Wright takes the dish from Danny Arellano of the Collegiate team to bring the game even closer, 8-7. Alumni turns back to Lerman. He opened the game with a goal. He'll get one here from the top of the perimeter to start the fourth quarter, 9-7 alumni. After another goal from alumni, this one from Morrison, Austin Stevenson scores for Collegiate to make it a 10-8 game. Alumni always had an answer down the stretch. They turn to the lefty veteran, Kevin Witt. He'll score in the penalty shot. That'd be the final goal for alumni. They go up 11-8. Travis Buscarin will score here on the rebound for Collegiate to make it 11-9, but they get no closer. That's a win for alumni afterwards. Lerman on the opportunity to play in front of a big crowd, including many of the athletes competing at the ODP National Championship. Um, so we just played against a Collegiate team at San Ramon Valley High School. Uh, I think the final result was 11 to nine. I think that's great. I think it's a good learning experience for the kids. Um, I, I'm always looking forward to, you know, some of the kids that I've coached um, come out and, and they come and it's fun to, to see them out there learning from, from other people too, from not just me. And now we look at the rest of the week one results from the National League. 2-0 starts for the Olympic Club and the New York Athletic Club. Nyack winners of the National League in 2016. Both got off to hot starts. Keep in mind the USA Academy team not in action yet. They were all taking part in the ODP National Championships. We'll see them in week two. National League action returns March 11th and 12th at the Woollett Aquatic Center in Irvine, California. Schedule information at usawaterpolo.org. Don't forget, admission is free for all of those games March 11th and 12th.